Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at the Grand Lodge of Missouri. That's what this building here is. I guess I got a tree in the way, don't I? <laughs> this is the Grand Lodge of Missouri building. They actually got a building not far from here that is uh, also just up that way there. It looks like a pretty new facility, maybe where they host blue lodges. This is the Grand Lodge building here in Columbia, Missouri. Columbia. Look at this. Columbia, Missouri. Uh, established in, I don't know when it is. I'll put it right there when it was established. But uh, we're gonna knock on the door and see if we gain a minute. It's about four o'clock. I don't know exactly what time they close. Maybe 4.35 o'clock, but this is a Monday. So when you, anytime you're attending someplace and you, you wanna go on a Monday, it's a crap shoot when the place is open. But anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get inside of here. Cause you just entered the coolest life, Masonic Edition. Good news and bad news. The good news is we are inside. Bad news is they don't have a lodge built room here in on property. They got one up the road that you probably saw, but I want to show you some of these items here. Obviously, the most famous Missouri Mason I would say is probably Harry Truman, and I hope to go to his lodge in uh, there in Kansas City this week. Should get a video of that. Been a couple of Missouri lodges there. I've always got a dedication for Harry Truman. This one here is. Uh, of George Washington, and they got him sitting up here. We all know George Washington was about six one, and they got kind of got him on a little bit of a pedestal here. So I'm six foot, and I hit him about his nose. But uh, a couple of things I noticed here is uh, this particular jewel. You see, this is basically uh, typically a, a past master rocker here. And then you've got the uh, square point upward, which means he's probably he's a. This is the sitting. Master of the Lodges. Um, maybe it's a Grand Master's Jewel, I mean, possibly. But, um, and then of course, the apron here, and most aprons that we see with George Washington have got a little more of a curve to them right here in the corners. But it's still a really nice statue right here in the main forward foyer here. Uh, they've also got a burning bush right here. Huge piece of the accents there. Now this the side here to the left is the um, um, Grand Lodge area. And it's a lot of offices, but I wanted to show you some things they had in here. Really nice columns here. Love the lily work, celestial globe. You know, that would be a traveling gavel. It's a good size, it's about three feet tall. Uh, here are your columns. I was about to say something, something is amiss here because uh, normally for columns like this, you're only going to see two, but I noticed that these two are actually, um, are actually Junior Warden. Both of them are for Junior Warden because the master doesn't typically have a column. So you wouldn't see three, but that one there is your senior warden. And there's a picture of their current sitting grandmaster and the deputy grandmaster. I think this depicts the broken column is what that is. We've got a G. And actually just, well, let's see. I was going to say, I just noticed this room is set up like a lodge room, but it really isn't. I've got a chair there. And they've got one here. Let's look at this. Uh, this looks like it's a one of a kind grandfather clock. And the time is not correct. Don't know if it's operational, but it's nice. I mean, look at those. Got the columns on the side. I do like it. I wonder if the uh, chimes are. I probably shouldn't open this, but. No, I don't want to. I don't want to force it open, especially not with one hand. <laughs> this lot would have come down on me. Declaration of Independence. Yeah, oh, there you go. It is. Yeah, when in the course of a human event it becomes this, I say, yeah, nice. Hey, I know that one. <laughs> That's where my home lodge is. Massachusetts, been there. Yep. South Carolina, Senate Lodge there. Virginia, yep. 
Rhode Island, I'm not sending a lot in Rhode Island. North Carolina, yes. New York, yes. New Hampshire, yes. Maryland, nope. Connecticut, nope. New Jersey, yes, several times. And Delaware, I have not, so I got most of them. It's like the original 13 colonies. That's nice. They do have a nice conference room right here. And past grandmasters, the other side of this conference room or they've got donors. I'm not gonna be videoing any of those. They do have a Masonic Museum, but it is closed today. It's like it's kind of a walkthrough museum. But it is closed. Got a nice area downstairs. And I may just peek through here because I'm not going to touch nothing. This was actually, um, this Eastern Star here was actually salvaged from an old building that they had torn down and they brought it here. Uh, Eastern Star has an area downstairs. I'm not a member of Eastern Star. I don't know what all the symbolisms mean. You can definitely look some up, look up some of those. Eastern Star was typically been our, uh, the organization for the ladies. It is now a co-ed, but it, uh, the ladies are still in charge of it. And, uh, a worthy grand matron would be your, your top person in that organization. Some nice touches. 200 years in Columbia. Centennial celebration. That looks like more of the uh, museum type of stuff. A little bit of history. And that would take you back up front. But before we go back in front, over here to the left is their, uh, the Masonic home. Their Masonic home is a is not an actual home. It is more administrative. So when people do money to raise to help a brother out, the uh, Masonic home is there to gain assistance, match funds, um, and do some things like that. So, so every every state's seems like every state's got a Masonic home, or every jurisdiction has got some type of Masonic home. But and this one here is uh, is no different. Can't see nothing. A little bit of a hallway in there. But uh, this one here is is different. In it is different. It's different in a sense that it has. Um, it, it's not a nursing home and it's not an orphanage. Most jurisdictions we find are either or. But this one is basically um, uh, offices and, and funds that have been set aside to support the brothers. Well, that was fun. I really enjoy uh, going in the buildings, even if they don't have a lodge room. It's still kind of cool to just go inside and see artifacts and different things uh, while I'm on my Masonic journey here uh, in the state, great state of Missouri. Um, their lodge, I mean, this place is beautiful. Uh, they've got some nice offices for all their officers that have come in here and, and uh, they've got a place to sit and internet the whole works. But anyways, it's offices. It's not much to look at. Really like some of their artifacts. Wish I could have went through the museum. It was closed and locked up today. I think they're actually closed today. So, um, and it's, it's get close to five o'clock. So I, I get it. But uh, anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, or send this to your other friends that you know might be interested in masonry, or especially if they're in Missouri, they can take a look at this building here. So they can maybe feel like they've been there. I'll let you go. Be sure to like, subscribe, because I'm getting back out here living the coolest life, Masonic Edition. Mm -hmm.